Hello everybody! Today we're going to do some access tests. I can, we're going to configure some access tests now. Already set up the topology. I'm going to show you all. Show IP interface brief. This is our IP addresses for our interface. I've already put up some hosts as well. So that I, I can uh, easily configure our access list for today. Unfortunately, though, I can't do the same with our hosts or our Mozilla OS. Also, site in well, I haven't actually uh, configured hosts into them, and uh, and another thing that's quite a sad uh, sad thing is that. Um, the IOSs are for these routers, specifically 7200 and 7200 VM IOS, doesn't have DNS enabled, or to be per to be precise, it doesn't have, it doesn't have IP DNS servers enabled. It does have that in the DHCP, but I've tried it and it doesn't seem to work. So that so which means that. All these IP hosts, all these domains can't be advertised to the network. So I can, for example, I can ping R1 here. Oh wait, to ping R1 for testing. It succeeds, however, this one as well, ping R2. Succeeds, however, when we go to this, uh, to our Mozilla. Make sure, we, yeah, yeah. And we ping R1. Our router doesn't out advertise the domain of R1. So, yeah. Also, I have added a web server so we can test out uh, permitting and denying uh, HTTP ports or throttles. So, as you can see, Let's test this out first. I guess on the three that two. Yep. And we can also ping two. We are not connected to the internet by the way. This is our own little topology. For example, if your own company has a HTTP server for uh, various reasons. So let's do it. Now what is an access list? An access list is basically your firewall. And how do you apply access list? Well first we're going to configure the router and we're actually going to add access list. Now there are mainly two types of access lists. Mainly standard and extended. You can also use uh, access list to uh, control or control or permit and deny using MAC addresses, but for now we're just going to focus on standard and extended access list for CCNA, CCNA stuff. Now, what's the difference between IP standard access list and IP expanded, extended I, uh, access list? Well, access list standard is basically, basically only has a source. So, for example, we're going to See, uh, deny. Uh, then I host, let's say, site. Yeah, let's just say deny site. As you can see, host site. It's host site. Host site and access list 99 permit any all right by configuring this one and then we're going to add it into the interface now it is important to know that when you're adding an access list you are going to use you must just what which interface you're going to use it for now we denied this the source or the attacker so this is our attacker our source 
so it's going inside inside fast internet one zero and or it's going outside of gigabit zero zero so you can choose I, I'm going to choose gigabit zero zero since if for example we have another uh, another uh, connected interface here and we want them to access site if I cut it off here then we won't be able to get the site basically that's it so let's put it here and let's say IP access as you 99 the way the way to choose between in or out is if it's either going is if it's you put your uh, reference point your interface then look as look if the packet or data is coming out of the interface or inside in our case it already went inside the router and it's going outside of gigabit zero zero so we're going to put out and so we're going to test it now. We're going to ping 192.168.3.2. Works here. However, it shouldn't work in the VNC. In fact, yeah, pinging it doesn't work as well as. However, we couldn't. Minimize. Let's do it again because it is HTTP after all. If we already recorded it, there we go. We can't access the site. That's the first one. That's how you use uh, standard access list. Now, let's go on to the second one. Now, I think we can tell net tell net to. R3, right? Nope, because we haven't set the lines here. So, connect T, we're going to set a line VTY 0 14 or 0 to 15. You can set, we can tell it 15 hosts same time. Pass, pass is pass, and we are going to log in. So, timeout is say infinity and now if we tell it again r3 and we pass there we go and now inside exit and exit okay you already done that you have proven that we can tell it into r3 now once again Let's deny it. So, for example, I don't want anything from 10.0.0 from that network 10.0.0 to actually uh, turn it into me or into my router. So, connect T, we're going to use access list telnet. Wait, wait. Extended. What the hell? Access this and I extend it. Extend it. Yeah, no. Uh, seems like I can't use words right now in these routers, but you usually can use words if you're going to use extended access list. But since I can. So site access is 199. Deny. Okay, here is it. Here is the main difference between um, I extended and standard. As you see in the standard, you get you usually just use one. You don't have any options of what you will deny. You will just deny the source, or whatever host source it is or network, and that's it. However, in in access this you usually choose to either deny ICMP or you can or the pinging or internet control message protocol TCP UDP or IP now there are no concrete way on whether to deny TCP or UDP but usually you control TCP or you use TP, TCP if you, whatever your port is going to use is requires stability 
security and reliability as such. Whereas UDP doesn't need. In fact, you can just it just throws out anything and it doesn't care if it's actually received or not. It is faster though. So for our security purposes, usually you would use TCP. You will use UTP for DNS, DHS, DHCP because it, it doesn't care if it's if it's it, it's job is to be a server. It's just to provide the information and it doesn't care if the client actually receives it. That's a client's problem. TCP, however, needs to have a proper communication uh, connection, you can say. So let's try denying a network. So let's say let's deny telnet of 192. I can use deny, right? Deny TCP of the source address that 168.2.0. Since it's slash 24, we're going to use wildcard bit so zero dot zero dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five if you have uh, let's say a uh, slash twenty five you will need to use the blockchain so if it's slash twenty five you will need to use uh, zero dot so zero that zero must make this that zero that one two eight for slash 25, but in our case slash 24, so it's only 255. So this is our attack, or this is the attack, and this is the one that we don't want. And what's the source? The host should be... Uh, let's say we don't want any of these telnetting into uh, 11.0.0.0.1, or telnetting to R3. And EQ or equals or what port or equals port that we will use in any case we can use telnet of 23 or just break telnet yeah I haven't put R3 yet, so. so we're going to manually put it so this is 11.0.0.1 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 2 okay and then we're going to permit any any permit IP any any so we're just going to deny TCP now why do I append this permit IP any any because access these are ex in ex inherently have IP deny any any at the last part and as you know access, access these follows this thing so access this what's this it it's it reads from top to bottom so if, if i didn't put this one permit ip any any it will deny any any it also the uh, last part of deny any any here so i will be i will be denying everything that's why as of our rules have a default function of denying anything everything in their outside interfaces so that's that's why so so then we're going to configure it into an interface uh, let's choose an interface so if I want this is 11.0.0.2 so I don't want anything coming from here coming into this router so I'm going to deny it in here so it's coming inside so interface fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 so I'm going to IP access group of 199 inside so coming, the data is coming inside and now that if we go to uh, telnet to r3 and telnet to r3 still want in why because i oh uh, yeah because this isn't part of this, I still need to deny 11.0.0.1. So exit. Fortunately, I can't append it, so going to have to uh, 
I don't I don't need to add the access drift anymore. I'm just going to remove the access list. Or I will try to use this one. Let's try to uh, uh, 15. Does this work? I hope it does work. Alright, IP access this. IP access is 199. I'm adding a 15. I hope it appends. So let's deny TCP of 192.160. Tell to the zero I'm gonna eleven that uh host of one to host of the two EQ telnet which work hopefully nope it doesn't so therefore I'm going to remove the IP access list. Oh, access list. Nine. I'm going to add an IP access. List uh, yeah, it's one ninety-nine. Still uh, doesn't work. I get it now, so access is one ninety-nine. Going to deny two that one six eight that two that zero with the five and from the over network of deny TCP within the protocol. So let's say eleven that zero that zero that zero which is zero that two five five that two five that two five five and EQ of telnet and we're going to permit perm so access this one ninety nine permit any any IP and any this should not suffice to show access this to the 90 CPU and 11 so we're going to deny this network from telnetting to any of the end of that telnet under 0, 0, 0. So we didn't change the IP access group we shouldn't be able to telnet to R3 Pass. You can step down the tower if you. Oh, there it is. I didn't. Pass. And. Pass. Side, however, we finally failed again. So instead of that network, we're just going to turn F T. No. So access list one ninety nine. Access list one ninety nine. Deny R two. Deny T C P R two. R two. Host R3 EQ Post R2 EQ Telnet That should suffice. Yeah, I don't know R3, so let's go with the 0 to 0. 
one. We're gonna deny that. Oh crap. Okay, so okay, not two and oh so one and two that one six eight that three that one. Yep. So access is one nine one nine that permit IP any any should still be able to ping but we don't be able to permit TCP any permit IP any any IP has is everything is every internet protocol and I TCP is under IP same as UDP is under IP same as ACP is under IP so and right now this should not work come on guys still works and I shouldn't be able to actually tell it to them why am I able to tell it to you hmm I'm gonna write this out as what ah how about a let's use site yeah yeah, yeah. let's use site. so kind of T once again I'm going to the face to fast Ethernet one slash one no IP access group 199 inside <sighs> I'm going to site and let's try telnet so I can use telnet here Our can I use telnet Yes, I can use that. Exit. So we're going to use this one. So, so to an FT, we're going to IP access Ubuntu. Extended Ubuntu. So these are extended ice access list. Then we're going to write deny uh host one and two dot one six dot three dot three from host one and two dot one six eight dot deny TCP Hold on. Three dot, three dot one. There we go. Then I, then I UDP. Just making sure that this should work, and then the permit IP any so we can still ping them. Exit. So interface fast. Uh, interface gigabit zero plus zero, and we're going to IP access group of Ubuntu in. It's going inside the router and show access list. So we have Ubuntu and enough, which means that. We sh I should be able to ping one and two. Yes, still able to ping. Let's start the telnet. Three dot three dot one. Yes, see, we are now unable to connect the remote host. No route to host, but we are able to ping the host. So we have successfully uh, filtered out R3, Telnet from R3. Now if you want to use the network again, let's try, uh, yeah, let's ping 3.1, we are able to ping that, right? How about if we don't, we don't allow this to ping? So let's 
connect to T as the IP access, you're going to use the extended as again, select extend, extended ping. So we're going to deny Yeah, how about this? We're going to deny ping here But we're going to allow them to access the site How about that? Now, how about we deny Yeah, we're going to deny the ping but we're going to uh, allow access to site So, let's say uh, And we're going to use networks for example, this is a porn site and we don't want them to access the HTTP server but we still want to able to telnet because I don't know where, where the management site, I guess. So let's do that. Uh, IP access this. We're going to deny ICMP of what? 192.168.0.0.0. Uh, zero, 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 zero. So what? Karma to pi pi. So host site. You don't need to add a port. Permit. Permit. TCP to. Only to that one six. That two that zero zero the zero, zero, zero that two pi pipe for host site TCP and we have uh, HTTP right ABC so equals can you also add greater than if you don't if we forgotten it CD H oh crap www or or the web http I'm going to permit any any permit IP any any actually we could have just written permit IP any any since we only wanted to deny one thing but it's fine let's do this the right way so access this Ubuntu and that so we're going to add ping into an interface so we want this one this whole one to be it's going inside this fast and then inside again so interface fast one slash one or we can use gigabit either it doesn't matter group of ping inside and so access this. so in ping we deny pinging from this one but we can sh still access the web so let's go to a network is unreachable there we go Check first. Let's wait. Let's check if that's really the case. So, ping that two that two. Yes. Turns out I haven't configured the network. So we're going to add that two that two. Gate is one. There we go, apply, ah, name server is one into the four. One, six, eight, that two, that one. Exit. Oh, we are able to ping. It's a problem. Should be able to ping. Yeah, I need more tracks in this one. And still able to do that. Which means that we haven't really done anything right now, I guess. Oh, because three that one idiot. 
low IP access list ping and got the ad. Extended ping. We're gonna we're going to add another ping. This time go to den deny. Uh, the ICMP of one eight two dot one six eight dot two dot zero 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 dot two fifty five. If you're going to use uh that slash twenty five, remember one twenty eight, but we're not, so it's fine. Just remind reminding of you about the blockchains. So of host one nine two dot one six dot three dot two or server eq www I have a mistake ah because it's ICMP permit IP though any any draw access group show run S access on so B access group so of us there it is ping is uh, ping is done inside then done there we have it we can't ping however trying to remove the ping let's see if we can yep we can still access it so that's about it that's how you use uh, gns3 to check your access list skills and a simple review for your access list so thank you and come watch again I'll sh I will be making another uh, more uh, uh, review sensitive video for IP access list this is however the more how do you say this um, dynamic uh, entertaining video because you can actually see the HTTP servers being blocked or being allowed or permitted to not just permit an IP well that's basically it if I had a FTP, ser FTP server and and we should check it out if it works I would put it same with Telnet, SNMP or other such ports or protocols so thank you for watching and like and subscribe for more videos oh, also I'm a uh, and uh, I registered myself in Micro Academy. I'll be starting to create a uh, how they say it, a more professional looking video and a up, up to date videos like this. So if you want, I'm going to update my channel and uh, show you a link to the lecture that I will be making. Yeah, the lecture will be uh, more formal and it will include a uh, up to date, uh, proper. Uh, learning system not just this bite-sized script so if you want to learn some more things to learn from me just type away oh and i'm trying to make the production quality a lot higher thank you and like and subscribe as well